how to use the authorised user controls on one of CTEX CFP fire panels to enable and disable zones or other functions. To gain access to these controls, you must first put the panel into access level 2. You can do this using one of two methods, entering a secure code using the panel's keypad or turning the key switch. The access light will turn on to indicate the authorised user controls are operative. You can enable and disable functions you require using a simple selection process. To start the process, press and hold the Next Options button for 3 seconds until the general disablement and Zone 1 fault lights are flashing yellow. For the purpose of this video, we'll use Zone 3 and an example of a zone that needs disabling. Press the Next Option button until Zone 3 is flashing. If it flashes slower than the general disablement light, its current status is enabled. If it flashes at the same rate, its status is disabled. Press the Enable Disable button to toggle between Enabled and Disabled. As we want to disable Zone 3, we need to make sure the two lights are flashing at the same rate. To confirm the selection, press the Next Option button. This moves the selection process onto the next available option, in our case, Zone 4. The fault light for Zone 4 is flashing. Meanwhile, the fault light for Zone 3 is lit steady to confirm it's disabled, whilst Zones 1 and 2 lights are off to confirm they are enabled. The selection process can also be used to enable and disable the panel's fault output, remote output, all of its alarm devices, its auxiliary output, or any delays programmed into the panel. For example, we will now disable the remote output. Press the Next Option button until you come to the Remote Output Status Indicator. Again, if the fault light is flashing at a slower rate, its current status is enabled. If it is flashing at the same rate, its status is disabled. Use the Enable Disable button to toggle between the Enabled and Disabled. We want to disable the remote output, so the lights are flashing at the same rate. We confirm our selection by pressing the Next Option button. To enable and disable further options, simply select them one by one. The Enable Disable process is complete when all of the available options have been selected in turn and the Next Option button is pressed for the last time. At this point, all disabled options will be lit steady and all enabled options will be switched off. In our example, Zone 3 and the remote output are disabled while all other options are enabled. To exit the selection process, turn the key to the off position and remove it. The only changes that will be saved will be those made prior to the last press of the next option button. For more information about CTEC and its products, please visit www.c-tec.co.uk.